Okay, so in today's lesson we're going to learn to factorise algebraic terms. Okay, so if we have a look at what I have here, the first question I have is 2b squared plus 5bc. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to write out exactly what 2b squared means and 5bc. 2b squared, because they're all together, they're all attached, that means multiplied by. Another symbol we use for multiplication is brackets. So I'm going to write this now as 2 multiplied by b multiplied by b. And that is essentially the same as 2b squared. The next one I have is plus 5bc. And again, that's same as writing plus 5 multiplied by b multiplied by c. So step one in factorising is to write out what each individual term actually stands for. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to underline what is common in both of these. So here I have a 2, a b, a b, and here I have 5, b, and c. And so the common factor in both of these is b. My third step is to take out what is common and separate it from the rest. So I'm going to use red to symbol what I've taken out here. So I'm taking out the b here and I'm left with 2 times b, plus, again, I'm going to take out the b here, and I'm left with 5 times c. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to take out the common factor between both of these two terms, which is, of course, b, and leave the rest inside the brackets. So that's the same as writing b, bracket 2b, plus 5c. And I've factorised there, I've taken out the common factor between both of these. We can check, just to ensure that we've done that right, and if I did a little quick check, b by 2b gives me 2b squared, and b by plus 5c gives me plus 5bc. So just a little check to ensure that I ended up at the start. So there are the three steps we're going to follow. Break the term down, underline what's common, and take out what's common. Okay, let's have another look at the next example. Okay, this example here is example two, and it is 3x squared plus x. So I'm going to write my three steps down here beside. So step one, break down the terms, and it will be three times x times x. So that's the first one. And the second one is pretty easy. It's just one thing on its own. So it's one bracket x. Step two, underline what's common. So common in both, I have an x. And step three, the final one is take out what's common. So I'm going to take that out. So my take out my x and I'm left with three bracket x plus x bracket 1. Uh, once I've done that then I take out what I, the common factor, put them together and leave everything else inside the brackets. So it, my answer will be x bracket 3x plus 1. Uh, and I've factorised. I can again of course do a little quick check and x times 3x gives me 3x squared and x times 1 gives me 1x or just x. So, just to check that I have factorised correctly, and I'm back where I started. Okay, this one is a little bit longer, um, but we follow the same steps. So, step one, break down the terms. So, I'm going to first of all start with the 8a squared, and that's the same as writing 8 multiplied by a multiplied by a, because a by a gives you a squared, minus the second term here is 16 bracket a bracket a bracket a that will give me a cubed and from looking at it, I can see that the common factors right now I have a two a's in both I can also break this 16 down and I can get more common factors remember a factor is a number that divides into another number evenly with no remainder and 16 has a lot of factors, and um, if I was to write them in the corner, it would be 16 
times 1, 8 times 2, and 4 times 4. So the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And if I was to rewrite 16 as 8 times 2, I would have another common factor with this 8 here. So let's do that. So this one is going to remain 8, bracket 8, bracket A, minus, instead of writing 16 now, I'm going to write 8 times 2. And then we have the A cubed, which is the same as writing A by A by A. Okay, so now I underline what is common. Only move on to step two when you are very clear that you have broken down everything up here and you have successfully gotten your factors for everything. So I'm going to underline what's common and I have an eight and an eight and I have an A and an A and an A and an A. So the common factor in both of these is eight times a times a, which is indeed 8a squared. So I can take that out here. And 8a squared, bracket 1, minus 2a. That is what is left here. 2a, and close the bracket. So we can just double check now to just ensure that I have successfully factorized this. This is what I'm saying is the lowest factors that I can get or the highest common factor that I can take out. And 8a squared times 1 gives me 8a squared. And 8a squared minus 2a gives me 16a cubed. So I have successfully done that. So our fourth example today is 22c minus 33d. And we're going to follow the steps along as always. So hopefully now you know the steps. And step one is break down each of the terms. So 22c is the same as writing 22 times c minus 33 times d. Now straight away I can see that there is actually no common factors here so far, but that doesn't mean I'm finished. I'm going to look to the factors of 22 and the factors of 33 and see is there something that will be common in both. So it will be, if I think about my factors of 22, well the oh, factor that's coming straight into my head is 1 times 22 and 2 times 11. Okay, and I'm making the connection now that 3 times 11 is 33 and that's how I'm going to break it down. So it now will be 2 times 11 times C minus 3 times 11 times D. Again step 2 then I underline my common factors which is 11 in both of those. Step 3 take out my common factor so it will be 11 bracket 2c minus 3d and I can double check my answer 11 times 2c is 22c and 11 times minus 3d gives me minus 33d so hopefully now you'll be able to try activity 2 in the factorization folder